third year. You are welcome to CRS class. We are going to look at humility as one of the topics in our thought time scheme. We are going to look at the meaning of humility. Humility means loneliness of mind, absence of pride, arrogancy, or boastfulness. It is an important Christian quality or characteristics, attribute of children of God as exhibited by Christ. That is humility, it's very, very important. If you don't have it, you are not a Christian. Because Christ himself he displayed or exhibited humility in his own time when he was here on earth. A humble person is not easily provoked. That is still humility. He is a law abiding and polite in speech and conduct. Very, very polite. A, 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 a humble person is not violent, very gentle. Okay, that's the meaning. Then let's look at the way Paul uh, taught the people of Philippians about humility. There are two people we are going to look at, Paul and Peter. In Paul's own version, Paul advised Philippians to avoid in their life any form of selfishness. If you are selfish, you are not, you are not humble. But to count others better than themselves. That's humility. When you consider others first. Which means you don't even mind whether you are favored or not. You are concerned about others. That is humility. And that they should love one another. If you are humble, if you have the spirit of humility in you, you will love others. The interests of others should be projected above personal interests. That's the thing. You'll be talking about other people's uh, interests without considering your own. Not that you don't, don't like, but you want to consider others first. Then Paul, in order to illustrate fully the meaning and nature of humility, he used Jesus' own case, that is Christ's own case, as an example. You know, Christ humbled himself unto death. Without humility, nobody can do that. Remember, Christ was in the form of God. He didn't consider that. But he came down to do what? To save me and you. That's humility. If he didn't do that, nobody would crucify him. But because of humility, he now humbled himself. Because in the interest of others, it's his mind. That is what he wants. That is why he humbled himself so that others will do what? Others will be saved. That's the way Paul talked about humility. And because of that, the Bible says that Jesus was given a name, that in his name, every knee will do what? Will bow. Why? Because he went on the cross and died. That is humility. Then let's look at the way Paul, uh, Peter taught the people of, God, of Christ about uh, humility in his own episode. And you can see that in 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 5 to 11. Verse 5 to 11. Peter thought that the young, younger Christian should be subject to the elders. That is humility. Peter want to make sure that the younger believers, they respect the elders. That we are Christian doesn't mean that when you see the elder, elderly ones, you just insult them or ignore them. So that is that they should clothe themselves with humility towards one another because God opposes the proud but give grace to what? To the humble. So in your notes, when you look at it, you you, you see more views about uh, Peter's uh, teaching. Christians should be conscious of the Christians should be conscious of the way they live as believers. They should be watchful because the death of their enemy is going about like angry lion for whom to destroy, looking for whom to destroy. So Christians in humility should resist the devil at all costs with what? With full faith in Christ. Sorry. Faith in Christ. So that's the way Peter talked about humility. Then let's look at the way, ways of demonstrating humility. The way you can demonstrate humility, one, obedience to supreme authority. Let's bring it down. If you are humble, you will obey your teacher. 
you obey the school management. When they ask you not to make noise, you do that. When they ask you to do your assignment, but if you don't do those things, which means you are not humble. So obedience to supreme authority, not vaunting of one's talent. That is, you don't need to boast about your talent. Bible say, what do we have that we did not receive from God? So everything we have, even the gift you have, you receive it from God. So why should you boast about it? So that is a, a way you demonstrate humility. Feeling concerned for the needs of others. When you feel concerned about others, you are demonstrating humility. Regarding others first, when you consider others first, it's not everybody that can do that. It's only few, like a few of you. How many of you can come to school with food and you see your classmate, he didn't come to school and you carry that food to that? It's, it's not everybody that can do that. But if you have humility, you can do that. Then the love and all the respect of elders. You respect your teacher. You respect your parents because you have humility. But if you don't have humility, when they be telling you, make sure you come back six, make sure you be at home six p.m. Ah, uh, you will come back six eight. Why? Because you don't have the spirit of uh, humility in you. Jesus demonstrated humility in this way. This way, though he was in the form of God, he did not claim equality with God. He didn't claim equality with God. He took the the form of a servant. Born in the likeness of men, his obedience to God extended to death, to, to death, to die himself, even death on the cross. He, the death of the, the, greatest, uh, the greatest shame, that is dying on the cross, is what? It's a shameful death. So Jesus humbled himself. Let's look at the qualities of any humble person. The qualities. Number one, a humble person is law abiding. If you are humble, you must what? You must abide by the laws of uh, even the class, the rule and regulation in the class, you will abide by, by them. Then, number two, he is polite both in speech and conduct. A humble person is always what? He's always polite. He is patient. A humble person is always what? He's always patient. He does not display his wealth. They don't display their wealth. Why? Because they are humble. They don't display their wealth. He is ready to serve in any capacity. A humble person is always ready to serve in any, any capacity. He carries up others to the best of his ability in the interest of what? Others. So these are the, the qualities of a humble person. Person. So next time we are going to look at effective prayer. But before I conclude, so I explain humility that humility means loneliness of mind, absence of pride, arrogance or boastfulness. So we we'll look at the way Paul talked about humility to the people of Philippians, and also we saw the episode of Peter on uh, humility. Then we saw the way to demonstrate humility. So in this way, if you don't have it, so it starts. Praying that let God give you the spirit of uh, humility so that you can display it. So that as you see, we have the you have seen the quality of uh, a humble uh, person. You can see the assignment. Assignment, I like Peter's teaching on humility, identifying the three qualities of a humble person. If you have any question, you can record it and send, or you write it. Uh, I will be ready to answer your question. Thank you, and God bless you.